Parents' Guide to Kids' Revision. Hello and welcome to Video Jug. The exam period is a stressful time, not only for the kids, but for the parents too. Perpetual worry and meddling over your little one's performance could well be hindering their revision and actually jeopardising their chances of success come exam day. We're going to show you what you need to do in order to ensure happy and productive revision and hopefully boost those grades. Step 1. Get involved. Sending them to their room and barricading them in isn't going to do much good. You can't be sure they're working, and even if they are, they might not be absorbing anything. Work with them to accomplish their goals. Help them out if and when they need it. But don't push. One thing every reviser needs is space. You've got to trust them to a degree. You can try and open up a dialogue with them. But if you start prying too much, you could be seen to be interfering. And there's a balance depending on the relationship between the parents and the child just to what you can do and how to do it. Step two, healthy body, healthy mind. While you're keeping out of their way and keeping quiet, you can spend some time in the kitchen preparing some brain food for when they emerge, bleary eyed and hungry. Make sure they're eating regular healthy meals and not snacking. Pasta, potatoes and bread are jam packed with starchy carbohydrates which release energy slowly over the course of the day. Don't let them skip breakfast. A good cereal will keep them working throughout. Chips, sweets and fatty foods are out. Instead, make fresh food with plenty of fruit and veg. Iron is vital for concentration. Regular red meat and eggs will boost their energy levels and keep their interest up over long revision sessions. Providing a balanced, healthy diet will have them cramming facts into their brain like you won't believe. And don't forget exercise. A run around or game of football could have extremely positive effects on their study. Failing that, a simple walk around the block would do wonders. Step 3. Get the balance right. Long days of drudgery with them locked up in their bedrooms will do no one any good. It's important to let them let off steam and blow off the cobwebs once in a while. I mean, you've got to act as a parent and do what you consider to be the right thing, but I think you've got to have understanding at that time beyond the call of duty. Um, it's difficult for them. There's a lot uh, going on the examinations that they're taking. They're under a lot of pressure and you need to give them a bit of space. Know where to draw the line. Clearly they shouldn't be out partying every night, but understand that non-stop cramming could actually be detrimental and that watching their favourite TV show or spending half an hour on the PlayStation isn't going to mean all that information is leaking out of their ears. Step 4. Bribery won't work. It might seem like a good idea. Pass your exams and we'll treat you. That way you're safe in the knowledge that they'll knuckle down and get on with it. But actually, bribery is a big no-no. Um, some parents are tempted to bribe their children by offering exotic holidays, or I, I dare say even now in some circumstances, flashy cars. Um, generally speaking, that's not something to be recommended because it then puts extra pressure on the youngster. Um, not only have they got to pass the examinations, but if they don't pass, they fail the exam, they fail to get the car. Um, generally speaking, they should have the incentive within themselves. Step five, the big day. Whatever you do, don't let your child stay up the night before the exam cramming. They'll be tired during the day and most likely won't remember what they've been cramming anyway. If you're cramming, you're beginning to get desperate for some reason. And again, it's back to having a proper study plan and making sure you carry that out. Come the big day of the dreaded exam and you're going to need to be there to support your child. Make sure they get up in plenty of time and make sure there's time to feed them a hearty breakfast. Not too much, but enough to keep them going and get the old synapses firing. Congratulations. Thanks to you, your child is now a certified genius.